Hey there, and welcome to this heart-centered video on the topic of synchronicity. You know, this is one of the questions that I'm asked most often when I'm out there doing uh, talks and classes on spiritual principles is, what does it mean that every time I look at the clock, it's 1111 or 222, or that I keep seeing the number 363 everywhere I, I look? This is a synchronicity. The definition of synchronicity would be the simultaneous occurrence of two random events that seem to have nothing to do with each other, but have great significance because they are happening at the same time. There's actually a beautiful story about how Jung came up with this uh, uh, term to describe this, this phenomenon. He was working with one of his patients on a dream in Switzerland. The patient's dream had to do with a scarab beetle, which only uh, exists in Egypt. They're indigenous to Egypt, not Switzerland. <laughs> and so while they're talking about this dream, they keep hearing this rapping at the window that eventually gets their attention so much that they have to go and investigate. And there at the window in his consulting room in the middle of Switzerland is a scarab beetle. And it got Jung thinking about this phenomenon that clearly he was seeing a lot, both obviously in his own life, probably, as well as with the patients he was working on. And in consideration of this idea of a collective unconscious, this idea that we're all connected somehow through what he called the collective unconscious, which we understand in modern new thought as something having to do with the illusion of separation, that we are really all connected, that we are all one in this field of infinite possibility that quantum physics understands as the molecular connection between all beings, that um, there's evidence of this connectivity. And the evidence that we see on a regular basis shows up as these simultaneously occurring events that by virtue of their simultaneity seem to have great meaning. Most people first experience this phenomenon through numbers. It, it's just the easiest way to perceive this uh, experience through the, 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 the digital clocks, which I think came about in the, you know, the 1970s, and suddenly 1111 became <laughs> this crazy idea that twice a day was 1111. Um, so this is where people experience this phenomenon a lot, but trust me, it is happening every moment of every day, and the more you notice it, the more you notice it. In fact, if you are watching this video and you're curious about this experience and you're seeing it in certain ways in your life, the invitation here is look for it everywhere. Look for it on your Facebook feed and you'll see the two people who live thousands of miles away from each other who don't know each other except through your Facebook community will both be posting videos about the same topic at the same time. Or uh, sometimes I experience this when I'm hiking where I'm having a conversation with a friend that I'm hiking with and the the topic is being replicated in a conversation that's passing me going up the hill as I'm coming down the hill. Uh, the, 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 the beauty of synchronicity and exploring it and looking for it in your life is just that the more you see it, the more you see it. So where, where we get stuck with this and what this video is really ultimately about is what to make of synchronicity, how to use synchronicity. So there's a paradox built into this idea. The paradox is that synchronicities have all meaning and synchronicities have no meaning. It's not either or and it's not even a blend of them. It's a simultaneous, it means everything and it means nothing. And your job is to expand your worldview such that you can contain that paradox of these experiences having all meaning and no meaning whatsoever. To, to go a little deeper about this is that if you look at a synchronistic experience as having great meaning, you're likely to get yourself into some trouble. We call that magical thinking. And if you think that this coincidence means you should make this choice or that choice in your life, you are being guided by magical thinking. It just doesn't work that way. You know, just because you have a coincidence when you meet that person you're dating doesn't mean you're supposed to marry them. <laughs> but if 
if you dismiss these things as having no meaning whatsoever, then you are denying yourself one of the richest experiences that life has to offer, which is, is that there is a richness to the continuity of life. There's a richness to the connectivity that we live in. There is a richness to the unity of this experience, and it's a mystery. It's mysterious. As a mystery, it can never really be known by us, and the synchronistic experiences are little moments, little popping moments that say, you know what? I don't really know what's going on here in this crazy thing we call life, but I know there's more to it. And in these synchronistic moments, I get to revel in that mystery just a little bit. So the invitation here is deepen your appreciation of these experiences and you will see more and more and more and more of them. Allow those moments to simply fill you with an idea that even though I don't know what's going on here, something mysterious is happening and I am part of that. You know, it's this idea that we live in what we call a separation illusion, that we are all connected, but we feel like we are separate. It's the synchronistic moments that give us a sense of evidence that there's more going on in the connectedness than there is in the illusion of separation. But guess what, kids? We live in the illusion of separation. That is where we must move about from. We live in a three-dimensional reality where I'm over here and you're over there and it feels like we're separate. And if we don't operate properly, we're going to bump into each other. But the fact is, fact, uh, I don't know if there's really a fact, but the, the, the truth with a capital T is, is that we're all one. And while we can't always feel that, when we have a little moment, a little synchronistic moment that reminds us of that truth with a capital T, it is comforting if you allow it to comfort you. It is inspiring if you allow it to inspire you. And that's what I want to encourage all of you to do is see more of them and allow those moments to inspire you to feel like you're part of something greater, some magnificent mystery that we call life. Thanks.